going so far? Very good. Yes. So you're from Getty, because we am. were shooting on your property. Oh, really? <laughs> Up in Camden? Um, it was, yeah, it was the Getty estate. Oh, really? Yes, you were looking at your employer's back garden when you were watching well, this movie. Very much well, you know, <laughs> yeah. well because, yes, you should, it's lovely. Chat, the the boys, <laughs> yes, see it, what I can do. it was the lovely. House, wasn't it? it was, yeah. God, it was certainly not a bad day going to film on that scene. So. Yeah, no. Now, so where else was it? Um, wherever the Getty Estate is, Great. somewhere outside Where Oxfordshire. Yes, I, I can't remember because they just take me there in a car and they open the door and I get out and I start acting. Fantastic. I don't have the A to Z open on my lap. <laughs> cool. Are we Sadly. Ready? Awesome. Yeah. Now, this film is being described as a, a fictional telling of true events. It's a film that is, it's a phrase that's thrown around in yes. relation to the movie. It's fact and fiction, it's kind of faction. Mm. or ficked. <laughs> it's an interesting interpretation of, of, of sort of things that, that really did happen, isn't it? Is it fun to play with that? Well, it's, yes, it's fun for me to perform Richard Nelson's writing. I mean, he did the playing with it, and then we just said what he wrote, because he's such a good writer. And what's lovely is that instead of some sort of slavish docudrama about an earnest biopic of Eleanor Roosevelt. You got to play a slightly mischievous, um, slightly terrifying woman, but with little droplets of the tragedy and truth of her life thrown in. So it's like doing a, a, a really nice play, but, but with, as you say, some historical fact that just pepper the dialogue. It's really interesting as well because this was obviously at a time when, you know, still even though there was sort of the first lady was still a strong female mm. figure, it was very much an age of where women were in the background and it was all mm. about men. But she was a very strong, independent, free thinker artist. Yeah, yes. Um, I mean, the thing about her is I don't think she necessarily wanted to be any of those things, but she was thrown into this life. She fell in love with FDR and um, married a an able-bodied sort of playboy. She was very earnest about her good works. Um, then they had six children and he got polio. She found he was shagging her secretary and they decided to stay together. But by that stage, she had political ambitions of her own and realized that to achieve what she believed to be right and good, she could stay where she was put up with FDR and 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 make some serious changes. And I think they had a sort of a strange, respectful, infuriating, loving relationship that that was one of the most successful political partnerships ever. One thing I, 